ജൂൺ ട്വൻ്റി സെവൻത് തേഴ്സ്ഡേ മാത്യു സെവൻ ട്വൻ്റി വൺ ടു ട്വൻ്റി നയൻ ദിസ് ഇയർ മാർക്സ് ദ ഹൺഡ്രഡ് ആൻഡ് ഫിഫ്റ്റി നയൻത് ആനിവേഴ്സറി ഓഫ് ദി ഐക്കോൺ ഓഫ് അവർ മദർ ഓഫ് പെർപ്പിച്വൽ ഹെൽപ്പ് being restored to public veneration by pope blessed pius the 9th in december of 1865 after commending the icon to the congregation of the most holy redeemer the redemptoris pope gave the superior general of the order the following charge make her known throughout the world this icon depicts the climax of a rather touching story according to pious legend one day the christ child was walking alone when suddenly two angels appeared to him The apparition was of a prophetic nature for both angels carried the future instruments of his passion sent as a reminder of the ignominious fate he would one day face the boy Jesus became frightened perhaps this fear was a foretaste of what he would one day experience on the mount of olives here however instead of turning to his father as he did in gethsemane he turned to his mother christ ran to her arms to comfort and console him It is at this moment of embrace between the Madonna and child that the icon radiates the beauty of their love and unfolds its message. In his apostolic exhortation Evangelii Gaudium the joy of the gospel Pope Francis states that when we find something that is good or beautiful or compelling whether it is a movie a work of art a book or a person we don't keep it to ourselves rather we should be filled with a missionary fervor to share it this is one of ways we can cultivate joy bathing people as it were in those things that are suggestive of god because whatever is good whatever is beautiful whatever is true reflects god such is case with the icon of our mother of perpetual help this beautiful icon given to the redemptoris as of way of helping them in their mission of evangelizing the poor and most abandoned filled with a missionary fervor to share it the redemptoris made the icon a missionary a painted gospel proclaiming through its color symbols and figures an abundance of god's redemption for over 150 years the icon of our mother of perpetual help has been at the service of the redemptoris in their mission of evangelization in the five continents of the world they have preached about her on their missions and at weekly novenas sung songs in her honor carried her in procession 
and enshrined her in countless parishes where she was once unknown. More recently, they have extended their mission of making her known through social networks and web pages. Dear friends, Mother of Perpetual Help is a letter for all of us, whether we are learned or not, saying to each one who prays before her what the Apostle Paul said to his followers in Corinth, Be imitators of me as I am of Christ. Wishing you a happy feast, Father Paul, CSSR, from Kerala.